Hello, hello, hello guys and welcome back to Joe's Ventures and today as you can see we've got another month over so that means another dev log or dev diary. So we're going to have a look at the dev diary for June of 2022. So quite a city gets stuck into this one. Not as meaty as the other ones but some pretty cool uh, updates and videos and things like that so I think you guys will be excited. So um Yes, yeah, so we're going to have a look and read up. So this is again the June update. So welcome to June update. Uh, we hope everyone had a very happy Pride Month. June was a busy time for the team as we released the Mine Update 1, which incl uh, introduced like silhouettes and a lot of other minor things, some new updates, things like that. Very good update, to be honest. And um, we're But we're continuing to push out uh, or push onwards with new developments and just maybe new species. So pretty awesome. So, so let's talk about updates. Next up is minor update two, a smaller patch that includes a handful of new items and an improved guest visuals. And following that will be major update one, which will be the first big content update since early access. It'll feature a new map, biome, animals, building sets, and more. We'll reveal the exact contents and theme uh, behind the update and a dedicated feature focus prior to release. So stay tuned. So be excited for that, especially major update. So here's a new species today. So in the meantime, we think it's, uh, it's time to unveil the new sharp tooth animal joining Prehistoric Kingdom's roster. So say hello to Coelophysis. Don't be fooled by the slender carnivore with its ex exceptional vision, high speed and shark the sharp teeth the small predator makes a terrifying ambush makes for a terrifying ambush so yeah really really nice little animal as we know see the physis from walking with dinosaurs and one of those really cool early to uh those Jurassic di uh, dinosaurs the Jurassic, i think in general is a very underrated period in terms of the pharaohic or the age of life a really really awesome um animal there you can see that's the one of the earliest dinosaurs not the earliest but one of the earliest and really you start to see the beginnings of what will become some of the really more impressive dinosaurs uh later through time but still a really really cool animal a really nice like one two star animal that is just uh really nice to have something to pad out the roster a bit so yeah really really awesome so we got coelophysis Balrise, so really, really awesome. And um, found as far back as the Jurassic period, Coelophysis will be the oldest animal in Prehistoric Kingdom as of Major Update 1. And despite its old age, we think it looks pretty darn good. And I do agree, and Prehistoric Kingdom, you have done a wonderful job bringing this animal to life. And I really like that skin. It's really wonderful. So next, we're moving on to animations. So... Uh, after bringing, uh, along with bringing new members to our prehistoric lineup, the first major update in introduces the first wave of behavioral animations. These special animations provide a fresh level of richness and personality beyond the additive animations already in the game. Uh, we want the animals to do things even when they're not walking or running around, which is cool because animals do things sometimes. Instead of just walking and running around, they sleep, they roll around, they sniff, they do random things and it's pretty cool. So we can see that being added into Prehistoric Kingdom, which is really awesome. So uh, these new animations are an exploration of animalistic behavior and will help build character for the various family groups in Prehistoric Kingdom. As this is a lot of animation and audio work, behavioral animations will be rolled out for new and old family groups across a number of updates, beginning with Major Update 1. So this is kind of something that will be on building. It's one of those things that, that will just keep adding on and adding on. And the same with like performance and new decorations and stuff. It's just something that will compound uh, as uh, more things are developed. One of those things that will just gradually improve over time, which will be really, really awesome to see. But um, please enjoy the example of two behavioral animations below. We can't wait to, uh, for you to discover them all. So for this first one here, some park managers have observed small theropods practicing their pounces as a form of pro uh, play, which is really cool. Dinosaurs like to play, and we can see the wonderful new Dilophosaurus having a pounce. Look at that boom, sniff around, really really nice. Really cool to see some more uh, dinosaurs uh, doing funny things instead of just walking and roaring like in Jurassic World Evolution. Nice to see animals just do weird natural behaviors. I think that's really really awesome. So that's our first one. And then the second one is rolling can help scratch some tough to reach spots, as you can see here. And there's a cute little uh, gif of the Dilophosaurus kind of uh, just lying on its side and just 
rolling around on the ground. How adorable is that? I'm a big fan of these uh, animations, and they feel so realistic and animalistic. I think they've really done a wonderful job, and I just can't wait for, as we get more and more updates, they will compound on, obviously, and then we'll get more and more and more, and then we'll really have a good uh, repertoire of animations, and they'll feel like real animals, which would be so awesome. So, um, yeah. Ensuring the animals are lively and interesting to watch uh, is a long-term goal of ours and will require ongoing development. Major Update 1 will see the overhaul of animal uh, locomotion, which is a necessary step to support more advanced pathfinding and AI behaviours. Animals interacting or simply acknowledging each other has been a huge community request and we will keep walking, working towards that. One of those things that will just come with time, don't worry about that. And here's a cool little thing here, behind the scenes, making a Dilophosaurus. So this month we've got an extra treat for you all. Uh, 3D artist Cindy recorded various stages of her work on the Dilophosaurus, unwrapping, sculpting and painting the pre as a previously unseen skin. You'll have to wait and see what the finished design looks like though. So if you guys want to have a look at this, I'm not going to play it for on this video because I want you to go and watch it for yourselves. So this is a cool new video, this is the behind the scenes of making the Dilophosaurus. And um, yeah, it really just shows the process. It reminds me of a lot of Cindy's old streams, which she used to stream. Uh, this was back when Priest of Canon was just in the Kickstarter stage. And just shows her process, and I think it was really interesting to watch. So if you guys are interested, obviously I'll put the link to this in the description. You guys can go watch that. And if you'd like to see more, let them know. Let, obviously let the team know, because they just want to create something nice for you. But really interesting to see different processes and things like that. It would be really awesome. So um, next we've got the state of development. So after initial delays with the first major uh, minor update, I mean, that was released mid-June, we readjusted our current roadmap accordingly so that players can continue to follow our development plans and know what to expect in the next update. You can uh, view this updated roadmap here on the Trello. And we can go have a look at that in your own time. Players can also expect a tutorial to return shortly after re resolved um, unexpected issues caused by the last patch. And um, in terms of general development tidbits, here's some bullet points that we're, uh, we'd like to highlight. So uh, we are working to a follow-up patch to minor update one, adjusting the feed ballast and addressing some miscellaneous issues such as loadings, visual, uh, visuals, etc. And um, also Steam Workshop support is a highly requested feature that we will be working on soon. We're eager to launch workshop support so that players can conveniently share all their unique builds and create a community together. And I gotta say, some of the stuff that people have been making in the Discord and posting, they really are incredible, so I can't wait to have that in the workshop so I can add those into my own parks and things like that. It's really, really awesome. Uh, we've also begun to work out, uh, we've also begun working on guest AI and management for Major Update 1. We're very excited uh, to bring more management gameplay into the fold over the coming months, that'll be awesome. And we're still working on further optimizations for loading speed and rendering, so that's another interesting thing so basically they're just going hard on everything to try and improve the game as much as they can so um yeah i told you this one would be a bit short but we'll have a look at the community spotlight you can see here this was created by evolve it's like this really nice uh almost reminds me of something about a lord of the rings or something medieval and i'm a big fan of it really 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 awesome it's really nice to see how well this came out you've really done a wonderful job it's just amazing what people can build in prehistoric kingdom it really just unlocks everyone's creativity it's just incredible uh, we've also got by um magnanimous matt on discord uh, old friend of mine a really really awesome like house here it's like a mix of one of those like uh houses that you see in europe and then you've also got your um Avery there. It's pretty pretty cool. I'm a big fan of how this one's came out. Really did a wonderful job. I'm really excited to see uh, what other people will be making with this as well. And then we've got here by uh, Pot D Deluxe on Twitter. We have got some of the animals from Prehistoric Kingdom done in like a 8-bit style. And I think they came out rather really nice. It really looks like it's got the style of course of the animals and it really looks like them. I really like how they did the Brachiosaurus and the um, Iguanodon. I think it looks really, really nice. Really rendered them ni quite nicely. And um, cool to see them in 8-bit. It's very nice. Um, so yeah, thank you for reading uh, June's Dev Diary. 
The team hopes that everyone's excited to see more of our future updates and learned uh, who is the mysterious third animal. Uh, exciting time ahead, park managers. Until next time, the PK team. So yeah, this has been a really nice little update. Probably not the bulkiest, but some really interesting things such as the animations and some updates on some other things like Trello um, updates, updates on like plans to like address things, uh, issues people have been having and talking about things that are being worked on so yeah this has been a really nice one so i think this would be a great place to end the video so um yeah i um really 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 hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys like and subscribe always remember to get the little bell icon to get notified when i learn anything so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys like and subscribe and bye bye